I worked on a couple of uh, different things this week. The first one was uh, adding a poll status into the event. So every time an event is, or every time a poll runs, uh, there's an event fired for that. You can see that in the, in the recent events there where it's recording and saying that you know, polling status is up was there for ICP service on on the interface. Um, some of the 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 reason is blank because poll status up doesn't include a reason at all because it's everything's good. Uh, the the second one there the for the when the HTB eighty nine eighty service one um, was up uh, the some of the pollers have latency data included with them on how for the response time and stuff and that's why that one included the 8.77 milliseconds of uh, time for the response on, on that. So that, that was uh, the one thing I was playing with. Um, I have uh, an open issue in OpenMS and one of the other things I played with was adding a being able oh, to man cute. manually adjust the, the limits for a page. So instead of it just showing you a default of 20, now there's a little drop down box that lets you, you know, select a whole, a, a much larger range. Uh, and then, because yeah, most people will know to just edit the limit big yeah. the URL. It's yeah, like, it's cool. super annoying. And then modified the, the bottom part so that it'll actually do, do a drop off instead of trying to do a drop down at that point. Does it stay in your session when you come back or is it just each time you visit the page? It would be each time you visit the page. Um, and that all, this this part of the drop down box was added for both the, um, there's two JSP pages that are included. There's a results with no count, which is mm. what the, the events are, but if there was a, a specific count of, of ones for like the, uh, the alarms table and stuff where it does reference that. Uh, this would also show up on there, but I don't have enough uh, data in either of those tables that it's, that it's shown that that would be uh, something to see. The other thing that I was playing around with a little bit was getting uh, a standard color palette in for all of the, the graphs and stuff so that you instead of having to hard code in the color values that you want to use for each of the for the data uh, for uh, the colors there for the areas or the lines and stuff that are displayed you can actually just reference a, a variable that gets mapped out to to, to different ones so in SMP properties, there's a basic. I added a color dot graph, and so I change that page, and then everything oh, looks, nice. and everything looks quite funky because that the colors is, is different from, from everything else. But that, you know, gives people the ability to go in and at least change colors to something else. Um, to, you know, maybe they wanted to, to map different colors across their whole page. So if you have a graph definition that doesn't specify colors, is that, what, is that how that works? Yeah, so the... Sure. Yeah, yeah, so there's so there's a color seven and that just maps to the the seventh color in the 
So the servlet is a replacement of the RGB value. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yep, so that, that maps back to there. Um, I had also played around with, I happened to notice that RRD tool 1.5 included a new way of being able to specify the RRA archive time period values. So instead of having to specify uh, a, so I, the, let's say you want to do a, a step size for the archive of five minutes. So instead of having to say 300 for 300 seconds, you can also specify 5M and it will translate that into the count there. Uh, you can also do that too for the, uh, for the number of rows that are in the archive. And it will actually map where it'll take the, the, the combination of the two values right. and convert them down. That's so. So, I did that. And, and oh, so, nice. So, and that's. I, I pushed those changes up to the to the J Robin GitHub repository so those would be out were in the one dot six one snapshot and they would be available in the next release version of it. J Robin or uh, our RD tool only has it in one dot five, so we'll never mm. we'll leave. We have to update our depths first in the packages, but But yeah that, that Makes it a whole lot easier for specifying times and stuff. You know, after it's like, actually readable, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For so, everybody except DJ and Jesse. That's our head. Yep. So that's that's what I worked on this this week.